Well, Patra, you're a marine biologist. What do you think of the tula fish I sent you to examine? I find it most peculiar. Where was it caught, Mr. President? In the Magda Ocean. The Magda Ocean? Didn't a fishing fleet sink there a few weeks ago? Yes. Six boats were overturned on a calm night. But what has that got to do with the tula fish? I'm not sure. But this tula fish is different from other tula that I examined a few years ago. What do you mean? Well, Excellency, evolution takes millions of years. Yet to judge by the specimen you sent me, the tula fish in the Magda Ocean are changing at a fantastic speed. I'll show you some pictures and you can see for yourself. <laughs> this is a tula that lived five million years ago. You can see the tiny fins it has. Now here's a tula that was caught six years ago. There are millions of years between each fish, yet you can see how little development there has been. Most interesting. Now I'll show you a picture of the fish you sent me to examine. Yeah, the fin has become a tentacle, almost a hand. Exactly. Do you mean that in a few years, the tula fish has altered in a way that would normally have taken millions of years? Yes. And what's more, they are changing into something that could almost be called human. Yes? I have an urgent message, sir. A survivor has been found from one of the fishing boats that was wrecked in the Magda Ocean. Where is he? In hospital in Cresta. He's badly wounded. Who wounded him? He said it was the fish. I'll go to see him at once. It was awful, sir. We were peacefully fishing, and suddenly there were tulas everywhere. They pulled themselves on board with their hands. With their hands? Yes, they had hands. You couldn't you have killed them with your gamma ray guns? Only the captain had a gun, and before he could use it, one of the fish pulled it away from him and threw it overboard. You make it sound as if the Tulas know what they are doing. They do. I tell you, those fish have brains. The Venusian president is calling you on the sonar beam, Colonel Rayburn. He appears perturbed. I'm not surprised. Think how I'd feel if someone told me Harry were starting to become human. The news is grave, Colonel. The fish are changing so fast that we must take action. What do you want to do? I want United Galactic permission to blow up the ocean and destroy every single fish in it. You can't blow up all the oceans on Venus. I only want to blow up the Magda Ocean. Why? Because the tulas in all the other seas are normal. That's strange. I'd like a space patrol crew to investigate the Magda Ocean before we bombed it. Very well. And when your Gallosphere arrives, I would like Patra to go under the sea with them. Marla, ask Larry Dart to come and see me, please. I anticipated your request, Colonel. He is already on his way. You're a clever girl, Marla. I am a Venusian, and on Venus, there is no such thing as a dumb blonde. Ah, Dart. I have a job for you on Venus. My crew and I are due for leave. I've got to cancel it. There's a fishy business I want you to clear up first. Well, I better tell Slim and Husky. I have already told them to go to contamination control. They are waiting there for you. You think of everything. A Venusian has the facility never to forget. I wonder where we're going this time. It would be joyous if we were going to Venus. I've not been home for a long time. You're in luck, Slim. That's exactly where we are going. Is it a dangerous mission, Captain? I'm not sure. But it's certainly a very strange one. Husky? 
orbital speed zero to 20,000 miles an hour. Speed maintained. Scan of you are working. Check. Astro beam working. Check. Gamma rays on. Yoba rays on. All in order, Captain. I'm ready. Thanks. Galosphere 024 to central control. Ready for final check. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. What does Earth look like, Husky? Like a great big melon. Speed, 500,000 miles per hour rising. Course deviation, negligible. Switch on the Meeson power, Slim. Meeson power, on. Are we going into the freezer this time? I don't think so. It'll only take us a couple of days to reach Venus. I hope the Space Patrol crew arrives soon. So do I. Some people were sunbathing by the shores of the Magda, and they were attacked by the Tullas. You mean the fish came out of the sea? Yes. Fortunately, they were only able to remain out of the water for a few minutes. Otherwise, everyone would have been killed. And where are the fish now? They slithered back into the sea. This is terrible. At the speed they are altering, it might only be a few days before they develop legs and lungs. I know. That is why we must examine the seabed at once. There must be some reason why the fish in the Magda Ocean are changing in this way. You must wait for Captain Dart to arrive. I expect him sometime this morning. Prepare to go into orbit, Slim. Very good, Captain. Is Venus on the scanner, Husky? She's hidden by cloud. I'll switch on the Yabba rays. Ah, now I can see Venus properly. That's a sonar beam call. Gallosphere 347 receiving you. The president of Venus wishes to talk to Captain Dart. Do not land in Cresta, Captain. There is no time to waste and you should proceed to the eastern shore of the Magda Ocean. Patra is waiting there for you. Very good, sir. We'll change course at once. Thank you. I will watch you on my screen. Change course 10 degrees, Slim. Very good, Captain. I'm switching to robot control for landing. Dart of Space Patrol. I am Patra. Are we ready to submerge? Yes. If only Colonel Rayburn had given me permission to blow up the Magda Ocean. We must destroy those Tulas before they destroy us. Where is the Gatosphere now? It has already submerged. Have you seen any Tula fish yet? There is one on the scanner now. I wouldn't like to get a bite from those jaws. Neither would I. Captain, there's a barrier ahead. There cannot be a barrier in this ocean. I have charts of the whole area, and no obstructions are shown on it. I don't care what your charts show. All I know is that there is something ahead. I wonder what the barrier is made of. I'll get a sample. Slim, switch on the suction tube. Very good, Captain. If you go into the observation cabin, Patra, 
you'll be able to examine the contents of the tube. Thank you. I have never seen a barrier like this. My planet Venus has many strange things. I have examined the pieces that you sucked into the tube, and I am sure the barrier is made of polydon waste. Polydon? Isn't that a new building material? Yes, it was discovered seven years ago. What's it doing under the sea? A factory making polydon has been dumping their waste material into the Magda Ocean. Instead of being washed away, this waste matter has built up into a wall. I wonder how far it goes. I'll take soundings. It's fantastic. This barrier extends from the shore almost three quarters of the way across the entire ocean. I'm sure it stopped the water circulating properly. I'll make some tests and find out. I wonder if this barrier could have anything to do with the way the tuna fish are changing. No, it's impossible. It's not impossible, Captain. On this side of the barrier, the cosmic radiation in the water is extremely high. Why? Because the water is not circulating properly. Could the cosmic rays affect the fish? Yes. Let's go around the other side of the barrier and test the water there. We're on the other side now. How does it look? The fish seems smaller. That's because there are less cosmic rays here. Why is that? I don't know. But the quicker we destroy the barrier and get the water circulating, the better. We must tell the President and Colonel Rayburn. Cosmic rays, eh? I always knew they were dangerous. It would be exciting to allow the fish to continue their evolutionary advance. They're too dangerous. If they develop any more, they might try and take over Venus. Human fish, eh? The sooner we blow up the barrier, the happier I'll feel. We can't use nuclear bombs. That would contaminate the water for miles around. What about planting depth charges under the barrier? A good idea. Though I wouldn't fancy meeting a tula fish while I was doing it. I'll go and ask for volunteers. No need for that. I know the man who will do it. To explode the barrier with depth charges is dangerous. Let me come with you. No, Husky. You and Slim must stay here. Are you ready to lay the depth charges yet? Yes, sir. Good. I feel great anxiety for Larry Dart. So do I. How soon will we know if he has been successful? Not till he comes ashore again.
we knew how things were progressing. That's Captain Dart now. Are you all right, Dart? Yes, Colonel. I was attacked by a Tula, but I destroyed him. Did you lay the death charges? Yes. All we've got to do now is detonate them. I will count three and then set it off. One, two, three. <sighs> It hasn't exploded. I'll go back down and see what's happened. Be careful, Dart. I can't understand it. Depth charges don't usually fail to go off. they have got intelligence. Yes. We'll have to find some other way of destroying the barrier. Outwitted by fish. We might have to use a nuclear explosion after all. That will mean contaminating the whole of the Magda Ocean and all the towns along the shore. Thousands of people will be homeless. There must be some other way of getting rid of those tulas. You are ill, Colonel. Just tired. I think I've picked up some virus. You should have an injection. Dr. Roberts has already given me one. He told me to go to bed. Then you should go home. How can I at a time like this? If I... Oh. Dr. Roberts, please. Dr. Roberts here. Uh, this is Colonel Rayburn's secretary. He is unconscious. And I'm afraid he is dying. Oh, don't worry. He isn't dying, just sleeping. Sleeping? Yes. The injection I gave him was a sedative. I knew it was the only way to make him go to bed and rest. Thank you, Doctor. I will arrange for the Colonel to be taken home at once. Colonel Rayburn will have to give us permission to use a nuclear explosion. Where is my call to Colonel Rayburn? He is not in his office. Your call is being transferred to his home. It's happened. It's happened. What is it? Some Tula fish have come out of the sea and are destroying the villages along the seashore. You mean they're walking? Yes, and they're strangling everything that comes within their reach. I knew this would happen. We must set off the explosion at once. You can't, sir. It'll contaminate the atmosphere and cause a great deal of damage. I know that, Captain. But if we don't destroy the fish, they will do even more damage. Please wait until you've talked to Colonel Rayburn. I'm sure you'll be hearing from him. Colonel Rayburn, the president of Venus wishes to speak to you. Can you hear me, Colonel? I'll sound the alarm buzzers. Uh, what, what in space is going on? I, I... Watch your screen, Colonel. What screen? Colonel Rayburn, I must talk to you. I'm tired. But this is an emergency. I want United Galactic permission to set off a nuclear explosion and destroy the fish. What fish? The Tulas. I don't know anything about Tulas. But all I want is permission. No, no permission. If you set off a nuclear bomb, I'll have Venus expelled from the United Galactic Organization. Now, good night. This is terrible. Terrible! If we're expelled from the UGO! It's either that or being destroyed by Tulas. I hope you will forgive Colonel Rayburn, sir. But he had a strong sedative and is unaware of what he is saying. You mean he's been answering me in his sleep? Yes. Dr. Roberts has now given him a stimulant. And he should be able to talk to you in half an hour. Talking in his sleep? Poor Rayburn. No one can fight against a sedative. I was given That's one. That's it. Month. I've got it. 
If we could make those tulas harmless, we could replace the depth charges and destroy the barrier. There is no way of making the tulas harmless. If Colonel Rayburn can be knocked out by a sedative, so can the fish. It's worth trying. The sedatives could be sprayed into the sea from a rocket ship. You don't need a rocket ship, sir. We can use the gallosphere. Has all the sedative liquid been loaded aboard, Husky? Yes, Captain. Good. Takeoff program starting now. <laughs> We're above the ocean now, Captain. Keep flying in circles, Slim. I'm going to release the sedative. If this doesn't work... They should be dropping the sedative now. Ah, there it goes. How long before we know whether it's successful? I don't know. The Galosphere must go underwater to investigate. Whenever we go down so fast, I get a funny feeling in the cave of my stomach. You mean the pit of your stomach? Switch on the scanner, Husky. It worked. The fish are unconscious. Once. I have an urgent call for you from Colonel Rayburn. Put him on. Sorry for my behavior, sir, but that sedative really knocked me out. Anyway, I can give you United Galactic permission to set off your nuclear explosion. Fortunately, Colonel, that will not be necessary. You helped us to find another solution. I did? Yes. We put the fish to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 